Welcome to our first look webinar for Nutshell Marketing. I'm Kristen Gray Sykes, the Senior Customer Success Manager here at Nutshell. And with me today is Chris Kane, Nutshell's VP of Product Development. Hey Chris, why don't you warm up the crowd with one of your famous fun facts? Hey Kristen, sure thing. Uh, lake Bacall in Siberia is the deepest lake in the world with a depth of 5,315 feet. It also happens to be the largest freshwater lake, holding more than 20% of the unfrozen fresh water on Earth's surface. What a way to start. <laughs> what a way to start. Thank you so much. For those of you joining us for the first time today, Nutshell is a top-rated growth software platform. We help sales teams and marketing teams work together to close more deals. Simple enough for any user and sophisticated enough for any business. Nutshell's award-winning CRM and sales automation features help you build stronger relationships with your buyers, eliminate the manual tasks that slow you down, and keep your entire team focused on your most valuable opportunities. We're here today with you to unveil a new product that our team has been working very hard on for the better part of a year. It's something our customers have been using for about a month now, and we're thrilled to release it to the general public. Chris, please give us the 20-second elevator pitch for Nutshell Marketing. All right, 20 seconds. So Nutshell Marketing is an email marketing automation tool that fully integrates with Nutshell's sales platform. It allows our customers to design beautiful marketing emails, send them to thousands of contacts at a time, and instantly see who's opening them. Nutshell Marketing seamlessly connects to your CRM data and is powered by Nutshell's wonderful filtering tools so you can create highly targeted audience segments and your sellers and marketers can manage all of their outreach out of a single tool. That was a good pitch. As I mentioned just a moment ago, this product has been in development since early 2020, and I was wondering if you could give us some insight on why your team decided to devote their time and energy to building Nutshell Marketing. Sure thing. Yeah, so Nutshell spent a decade as a CRM and sales automation tool, and one of the biggest challenges that we faced in our own business was a lack of alignment between our sales software and our email marketing tools that we tried to integrate with. So you know, like a lot of you watching this, we've used HubSpot in the past for email marketing. We've tried MailChimp. We've tried Constant Contact. No matter how good these tools are at what they do, when you have your sales and your marketing teams working out of separate contact databases, it's going to create confusion and get in the way of collaboration. So for example, our sales team didn't have full visibility into which marketing messages were going out or which messages were being engaged with the most. And then our marketing team struggled with targeting the right customer segments because our customer information was only up to date on the CRM side. Yeah, speaking as the primary point of contact for many of our own customers, I can tell you that this is a point of friction for nearly all B2B organizations, not just our own. Data getting out of sync, important customer contacts getting lost. I've heard from countless Nutshell customers who struggled with the same challenges. Yeah, exactly. You know, what we learned by building this tool and then using it ourselves over the past few months is that having your CRM and your email marketing software under the same roof, powered by that same customer data, solves all of these challenges. It really is the magic bullet for uniting sellers and marketers and helping them work together more effectively. We really hope this translates to more success for our customers. Absolutely. Uh, we always advocate for sales and marketing collaboration here at Nutshell and being able to work off of consistent, unified data is what actually makes that possible. Plus, it's just less to juggle. Software integrations are really valuable, but I think the dream is what if you didn't have to manage multiple tools to nurture a customer through your pipeline? Yeah, and that's been one of the guiding principles at Nutshell for as long as I've been here. You know, we want our users to be able to do as many important things as possible out of one tool. Not having to switch between different software with different UIs saves a lot of time and frustration. Well, Chris, this is all very exciting. Um, for those in the audience, a few quick notes before we dive into the demo. First, if you have any questions during this webinar, please post them in the chat window and we'll answer as many as we can at the end. And second, we will be covering pricing at the end of the webinar, so stay tuned for that. The short version is that Nutshell Marketing requires a subscription to the Nutshell Sales Platform, which starts at just $19 per month per user, and it's an additional monthly charge based on your number of marketing contacts. If you're really curious, you can visit nutshell.com slash pricing at any time during today's demo and see how much a Nutshell sales and marketing package would cost for your team. All right, Chris Kane, the spotlight is yours. Take it away. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to start sharing my screen, pull up the right tab. All right, let me make sure I can see this, which means everyone else can see this. Okay, great. Um, looking pretty good. All right, so I know a lot of you are seeing Nutshell for the first time, and we're going to talk all things email marketing, but I really wanted to quickly you know, start by showing what it looks like to manage contacts inside Nutshell. Um, we're going to be adding these contacts to targeted marketing audiences, so it's kind of nice to know how Nutshell deals with them. So 
you know, quick vocabulary lesson. Uh, Nutshell has companies that's up here. Uh, the people that work in those companies, those individuals are called people. And then those are all associated with leads, which are your sales opportunities. Uh, that's the that's the 15 second pitch. Uh, I'm gonna quickly hop into a person page. Let's look at Carol here. Uh, and we're working from a, a demo account. Uh, essentially, we're a solar grid provider and we're selling to clients all across the, the United States. Um, we have some inbound sales, some outbound, maybe do some traveling and, and we're gonna send some outreach that way. Um, but really quickly, just wanted to you know give the highlights of what a person page looks like in nutshell. Of course, we have the map at the top of where they're located, some of the local weather. We immediately have a star rating here. That's sort of their, their engagement rating. And we'll touch on that a little later, but that talk, you know, that's sort of an aggregate rating of, are they responding to my communication, opening those emails, that kind of thing. On the right side here, we have all the contact information. Uh, you know, we have this really nice field here where we, we, we sort of make, we try to make data entry as easy as possible. So if I want to enter an address or a phone number or something like that, I don't have to select phone number, address, email, anything like that. I'm just going to enter a phone number. I'll enter my own in case you need to call me after this demo and you know complain about something going on or, or give me a great compliment on, on how great this demo went. Um, but it's gonna, Nutshell's going to know that's a phone number and it's all automatically going to bucket that there. Um, Nutshell will also pull in all social media profiles through our Nutshell Intelligence. So you, you know if you have an email address, we're going to scour the web and pull all that related information in for you. In terms of you know where Carol works, of course we have the related company here, Trade Silicon. And if we scroll down the page, we can see every person and company and lead record is going to have a timeline of all the related communications. So it looks like we sent Carol an email a little while ago. I can filter this down and just look at emails, maybe phone call activities. If I want to write a note about something, that's all going to be there at the end of, at the, end of the screen in our timeline view right there. And that is a quick highlight. Um, we're here to talk email marketing, so I'm going to hop back to our person list, uh, and we're going to talk about how we make segmented audiences uh, so we can send our outreach to exactly who we want to. Um, so let me remove my filters here, and I want to start from scratch. So again, we're looking at a list of all the people in this instance. And if I hop over here to our map view, this allows you know me to look at all my contacts on a map. So here we're seeing all the people in the United States. And let's say for this situation, you know, Maybe we ran a campaign or we want to run a campaign in the Midwest region because we plan on traveling or something like that. And I want to send outreach to just people in the Midwest. And of course, I could get really specific like this. Nutshell sure has address filters to actually grab, you know, everyone within 50 miles of a certain location. For now, I'm just going to grab, you know, a general location in the Midwest here. So if I view these people as a, on a list, I'm looking at 41 people sort of in the Midwest region. If I just select all of these and I go down to the bottom to add an audience, I'm just going to make an audience on the fly. So, you know, maybe this is my Midwest outreach audience here. Uh, so I can create that. That's going to create that audience right away. I've got 41 people in there. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually have to add them to the audience. Boom. 41 people were added to the Midwest audience. So now we have these 41 targeted people and, and we're going to eventually send them uh, some outreach, but I want to do one more example really quickly. So, you know, that's a pretty simple example, but what if I want to send, you know, let, let's say a different example is I'm looking at all my leads here and these are all my one lead. So these are different leads that I we've previously done sales for, and we've decided that these are the leads that we won. And maybe I just want to add a VIP audience. So let's say, you know, in this case, I want to send, give me a list of all my leads, $125,000 or more. I can maybe decide maybe just the ones that closed in the last year. Why don't we do that? Why not? Um, close date within the last, uh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, one year there. I just keep clicking the wrong thing. This is the problem with live demos. All right, close date within the last year, perfect. So now we have VIP customers that have closed in the last year, over $125,000 in value. I can select all those, and maybe I want to make a new audience. So let's call this VIP customers. I'll make that, and I'm going to add those 30 leads to an audience that way. So again, we have all sorts of filtering tools in Nutshell. These are just our built-in ones here. You know, We have different activities, so I could segment this list by who have I recently done a demo with. I could look at their industry, their territory. I could even bucket it by you know, leads that are actually viewing my emails. Maybe I know they're engaged with me and I wanna add even more uh, to an even more targeted audience. 
Of course, Nutshell also has unlimited custom fields, so I could be adding my own custom field records and segmenting my list that way and reaching out that way. Tags are another great way uh, to segment your contacts. All sorts of built-in ways that you know is built on top of our, our wonderful filtering capabilities here. So that's actually getting people and our contacts into an audience. Um, and I think that's a great time to jump into our Nutshell marketing features. So I'm gonna click this outreach icon here and immediately we're landing on, you know, basically this is the Nutshell marketing dashboard. And this is a demo account, so I haven't been doing a lot. Um, so this is basically what, a, what an intro to this uh, feature would look like if you signed up for a trial. Uh, this is sort of your, your empty dashboard here. We have a quick getting started checklist to get some easy things out of the way. But I wanna jump in and, and sort of show how easy it is to start making some really good looking content. So I'm actually gonna view our templates here. So Nutshell's provided everyone with six built-in templates that, that we pre-designed. We think they look really good. There's some sample copy in here. And I wanna run a sales promotion. I think we're gonna run for our company. We're selling these, these solar panels across the Midwest and we're gonna have a sales promotion. So why don't we call this sales promo Midwest 2021? Probably not specific enough, that's okay. And as that loads, so here we're jumped uh, into our email editor. And again, this is some sample content. And why don't we just get started and, and sort of look at how easy this is to, to slice up and make some good looking emails. Um, so I'm gonna start deleting some stuff really quickly, just so we can some start from scratch. Um, you know, this is some wonderful copy that our team has built and I'm just deleting all of it. That's really not nice of me, but you know, here we are. Um, and this editor has all the tools you'd expect. So, you know, we have a bunch of different fonts to make some great looking emails, different font sizes, italics, underlined. I think I deleted it, which I probably shouldn't do, but we can jump in here and we can add different merge tags. So I could get a first name, a last name, a company name. Why don't I get first name here? Um, we have some fallback text too. Of course, you know, you want your data to be clean, but Nutshell's gonna help you out if maybe your contacts don't have a first name. Kind of awkward if you say, hey there, and you know, maybe don't include anything else. So we'll throw friend in there and, and we'll use that as our fallback. Um, of course, like any good email designing tool, we can add different things. So, you know, in this case, we have a button here. Maybe I wanna throw in an image and I'm not a designer and I was told not to design too much on this, but we're just gonna go for it. Um, got this great, uh, great picture of some solar panels looking really good here. Oh, let's get rid of this logo. That's not our logo. Um, all right, got that there. Um, of course, I'm not gonna send any, uh, any pictures without, um, or any emails without my photo in them. So, ooh, that's actually way too big. So, you know, another thing of course is, is we can actually lay this out in different ways. So this is a pretty, you know, one, one panel layout here. But if I wanna do something like this, I could pull in this layout and actually break up the content that way. So, you know, in this situation, my image, you know, doesn't need to be that big, that's for sure. So let's get me in there. Um, a lot smaller here, looks really good. Maybe I get some text there. My name's Chris Kane. Um, you know, we don't need to change these fonts too much. Um, other highlights, of course, you know, we have all your social media profiles. This one's just seated with the big, big four there, but there, there's all sorts of other social profiles, of course. Um, you know, in terms of other things you can do, let me add a couple rows and talk about that. And, you know, I, I know I'm going at a whirlwind pace. There's, there's a lot of stuff here. I can get my social, I can add videos. You know, maybe you're coming from another tool or you, or you like to design your, your content somewhere else. We can actually just drop an HTML block in here and I can paste in, you know, custom HTML that I've done somewhere else. Um, HTML experts only. I consider myself an HTML expert, uh, but we're not gonna do that right now. Um, you know, other things, of course, we can align this content to the left if it's maybe a more personal email, default fonts, link colors, we have backgrounds, maybe I want the image or the, the entire email to be skinnier, wider, that kind of thing. Um, you know, this is not the best looking email, but I think in, in two or three minutes, given, given my design skills, we, we did all right. Um, so I want to quickly talk about what it looks like when you've got your email designed and you actually want to go send it. Um, but to do that, I'm actually gonna jump into a pre-made one that looks way better um, that I'm not doing on a live demo. And we're gonna talk about it that way. So here's a pretty similar one. And oh, looks like I actually forgot to replace the logo. So let me do that. Um, 
So here we have some more friendly copy. Again, you know, our, our merge tags, fallbacks there. Psyched you've been a long time error grid customer. We have our promotion running. Um, you know what, this content looks pretty good. All right, I'm Charles. I totally, you know, came out of character there. I'm not Chris, I'm Charles Barry. Um, we're doing a demo here. And then we have our footer. So when I've designed this and I'm all ready to go, I'm gonna hop over to the details tab. And here I can get an in-app preview of what this email looks like. So, you know, here I'm looking at desktop, looking pretty good. That's a big image. We don't recommend sending these massive images, but you know, these solar panels are looking pretty good. And then I can get a mobile preview here too. So this image looks like it resizes pretty nicely. Maybe I wanna center this on mobile. And actually our editor has different capabilities. So you can, you can actually hide stuff on desktop or hide stuff on mobile if you want it to look a little different, um, which is definitely something that you know, makes emails even nicer depending on what platform they're being read on. Um, so that looks pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, of course, before I would recommend sending this to anyone, Right up top here, we have a send a test email feature. So, you know, I could quickly send this to myself if I wanted to and actually view this in the browser, or maybe I wanna pull it up on my phone, actually make sure it looks good on my phone, make sure it looks good in Gmail, that kind of thing. And, and I'm just gonna do that even though um, I'm not actually gonna pull that up. I don't know why I did that, but cool. Um, so let's go to send this thing. Oh, all right. So when you go to send an email, of course, Nutshell's gonna let you know if you screwed anything up. And in this case, I have, I haven't selected an audience, but we give you a nice confirmation of everything. So, okay, we got our subject line, great. Unsubscribe link is included. I didn't show how to add this, um, but we require an unsubscribe link with every single email send. And, and not only is this required by law, but Nutshell is actually gonna help you here. So, you know, if you're sending emails to thousands of people, some of them, unfortunately, aren't gonna wanna to, to hear from you anymore. And, and if you know, if they click that link on your email, they're basically saying, hey, you can't email anymore. And maybe you're tracking that manually, maybe you're tracking that with some sort of custom field. Nutshell's gonna do that for you automatically. So the next time you go to send to that person, or maybe I resend to this Midwest audience in another month or something, if four people have unsubscribed, we're just not gonna email them. We don't wanna bother them. Nutshell will take care of that for you. We'll show you those statistics. We'll let you see which people unsubscribed, uh, but you don't have to manage that yourself. So let me actually fix this. Um, you know, I think, yeah, we said we wanted to send to our Midwest outreach audience. So selected that, that looks good. All right, we're good to go. I could schedule this for a later date if I wanted to. You know, maybe I wanna send this tomorrow morning. We found that messages perform well on Thursday mornings, for example. Uh, in this case, I don't, but uh, that, that's one, one thing you can do. I'm realizing right before I send this, forgot to touch on our UTM parameters. So we provide built-in UTM parameters for all links. So if you're using like Google Analytics or, or Google in some way to track these things, we'll automatically add UTM parameters to all your links within the email so that when they're clicked on, they'll go right into Google. And, and we sort of promoted this right to the top here because we think it's a great way to, to also track how your emails are being engaged. Um, if you wanna learn more, there's some different onboarding there as well. But why don't we send this thing? And unfortunately, no one's gonna get this, but uh, we're gonna send this to 41 recipients. And off it goes. All right, so the Q1 Midwest sales promo is on its way, and that is half the piece of the puzzle here. I'm actually going to stop sharing my screen for a very brief moment um, because we need to look at the other side of the coin, which is actually email engagement and what happens after you send an email uh, and everyone is looking at it. All right, and I th hope everyone can see my screen here. Um, let me make sure that's the case. Okay, it looks like it. All right, so we just sent a broadcast and, and broadcasts are one-time messages to a segmented list of people, your audience. Here, we're actually looking at newsletters. Um, and, and for the purposes of this demo, I've actually jumped into Nutshell's own uh, instance here and we're gonna take a look at our sell to win newsletter. Uh, so in nutshell marketing, a newsletter is essentially, you know, that's content that you're going to send at, at regular intervals to the same audience. So we've built up our sell to win audience over many years, and we've started sending through nutshell to that audience. So, you know, here we have six different editions, um, and I'm going to click into our most recent one, the February 2021 sell to win newsletter. Maybe you got this yourself. So again, you know, we had our details tab here. That's where we looked at the preview. Now we're talking about engagement. So it looks like for this, you know, we have our top level metrics, 23,999 recipients, 17% open rate, 
We have a click rate here. We have unsubscribe. Again, unfortunately, some people don't want to hear from us. Uh, and then a bounce rate. And you know, Nutshell is also going to track those bounces. So like unsubscribes, 250 of these email addresses are no longer valid. It's important that your emails are getting to inboxes. A lot of email tools are self-included. You know, you, you have to be sending emails that aren't bouncing. Uh, just reputation for actually deliverability really matters. And, and Nutshell is just going to take care of that for you if emails are bouncing. We won't send those anymore. Here we have our engagement graph, which I really love. We can get a minute by minute preview of uh, an insight into you know, who's opening and clicking this email. Maybe we want to look by an hour to get a slightly better view. Why don't we look at the first 24 hours there? You know, as expected, the most people are interacting with our email right when we send it. But it looks like we sent that right around 930, some good engagement around lunch, and then that's dwindling off. Um, in terms of the newsletter itself, we can actually look at the entire Sell to Win newsletter and look at that engagement. So this is all of the content we've sent through these six editions, and we can actually compare the two. So it looks like our best open rate uh, was to the boundless 2021 one, almost 40%. So maybe you know some piece of content, depending on who we sent that to, at what time of day, we can compare those numbers, make sure we're sending the right things there. Um, and then I wanted to touch on one last thing, if we jump back to additions and look at our sell to win, and that's that recipients tab over here. So of course, you know, it's great, we have these big numbers, but we need to see who's actually clicking on these so we can connect those to leads, connect those to sales, send all that good content and follow up with the right people. So here we're looking at all the recipients and I can quickly look at, you know, let's see who's opened this email. We have that engagement column here too, which I can sort on, five star is gonna be the highest there. Maybe they're in a couple other audiences. You know, we have a lot of different segmented outreach we like to do. We can get click rate and open rate. You know, we have all sorts of columns. There's there's hundreds of columns here. Um, I'm hiding a lot of these because this is our our own data and I don't want to show any of that. Um, but we can filter by all this as well. The exact same filtering capabilities we saw on our list pages there. Um, maybe I just want to see the ones that are bouncing, make sure there's no high value customers in there. Um, looks like maybe this bounce was unexpected because that's a high engagement store score, uh, that kind of thing. So that's what the post send process looks like. Again, I can preview this email again, see this one looks awesome. Um, but that is a high level overview of what that looks like. And I'm actually going to take a break because I've been talking forever and kick it back over to Kristen. Kristen, how are we doing? Yeah, making, making friends in the chat. <laughs> Ready for being here today and for that amazing uh, demo. It looks like the team has been really hard at work and we're so thrilled about the new features. Um, some really great questions have been coming through in the chat. It's really wonderful to hear from all of you. But um, before we get into that, I just have a couple questions that I'm sure a lot of folks are wondering about. Sure. I know that we really only scratched the surface with this new email marketing tool. Uh, Chris, can you talk a little bit about what you have planned next for its development? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a, it's a big year for Nutshell Marketing, of course. You know, we talked about two different types of outreach. We talked about broadcast, those are those one-time sends, and then newsletters, the recurring sends to the same audience. The third type of outreach that we're really close on and super excited is, is drip sequences. So, you know, as an example, a drip sequence is a series of emails that goes out to a specific, uh, on a specific cadence, I'm sorry. So, for example, if you've ever signed up for Nutshell, a free trial of Nutshell, you get about six emails delivered to you over the course of 14 days for your trial, talking about you know, the key benefits of our product, providing guidance on how to get started. And those emails are gonna go out automatically until the series is over. So as soon as someone signs up, we're gonna start sending that series at that cadence. So that's the kind of thing we're talking about here. They're really valuable for that automated outreach there for marketing teams. In terms of some other things we're working on, you know, we know that lead collection on your website is really important. So we're looking to add web form functionality where those contacts you collect on your website are automatically populated in a nutshell. Of course, we have tons of tools. You know, you can work with our API to do this and there's other ways to get it into our database, but you know, we want Nutshell to be powering those web forms themselves. So it's it's super seamless for our customers. Totally. Yeah, definitely. We've got a lot of pros in the audience today. So I'm sure they'll be eager to dig into those resources. Um, I did promise our viewers we'd get into the pricing question. At the moment, you do need a subscription to Nutshell Sales to purchase Nutshell Marketing. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about what Nutshell Marketing costs and how people can purchase a subscription? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm actually going to, of course, share my screen again, my favorite thing to do. <laughs> um, so if you jump into your bottom left avatar icon there and then go into nutshell billing, perhaps you started a trial already. 
Um, this is our billing page. So, you know, there's two things. We have nutshell sales, which is billed per user. Um, and that's, you know, a, a cost per month. Of course, we have an annual option too to save a little bit of money there. Um, but below we have nutshell marketing. Um, and so if I toggle this on, uh, nutshell marketing is a one time per month cost and it's totally a la carte and it doesn't matter how many users you have. So in this demo example, I have 12 users in my account here. I'd have 12 people using nutshell sales. Um, but because we have around 5,000 contacts and I'll talk about that in one second, um, you know, that'll be a $70 per month charge. It's not times 12 or anything like that. It's just a once a month charge. Right. And of course, in this instance, it looks like we only have 101 marketing contacts, but we have a nice helpful slider here for me to slide this thing. You know, maybe my outreach is around 30,000 people. That's what that's gonna look like, um, all that kind of stuff. And then of course, if I turn this off, if you're not quite sure if you're ready for nutshell marketing or aren't quite ready to purchase, you know, or maybe you just want to start with nutshell sales um, with no nutshell marketing, with just our free plan, you're still going to get 150 messages for free on us. Yeah. And that that's, you also get all of nutshell marketing with that. So you can still design as many emails as you want, bucket all of your people into different audiences, get all those segments ready um, and, you know, kick the tires a little bit with those 150 cents. It might not be enough for, you know, to actually prove out marketing, but we think it's a, it's a good way to start to see if the tool is right for you. So for sure. Awesome, Chris. Well, thank you so much for, yeah. um, you know, giving us the overview, a quick tour of pricing. If it's okay with you, we do have some awesome questions from our audience members today. And thank you to everyone who chose to spend the afternoon with us. I know everybody's feeling webinar fatigue, but we were so excited <laughs> to connect. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive into some questions. If that's okay with you, Chris, we've got let's a little go bit of time. It. Yep. Awesome. All right. So we're going to start at the very beginning here. We've um, had a couple come through that I think you'll um, you'll knock out of the park. But um, Jason wanted to know what would the sending domain be for messages sent through outreach? Yeah, great question. So that's one part of the demo I skipped. But, um, you know, what I did beforehand is I pre-verified uh, my own domain here. So, you know, in this case, I went in and I we do require verification just because, you know, for a whole number of reasons, um, it actually does help as well for getting emails into inboxes, uh, but I'm using my own domain. So in this case, it's the at nutshell domain, but you can use your own domain here. Yep. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Hopefully that helps. I've got a couple of more great questions from Jason shortly, but let's turn it over to Vicki who said, we're going to be using your marketing platform and canceling MailChimp. Congratulations. We're so glad to have Hooray. you. <laughs> Regarding unsubscribers, are they managed via pipeline action or are we best served by deleting them or tagging them? Just looking for an opinion or best practice suggestions based on your experience using Nutshell. So glad you asked this. Wow, great question. Yeah, so it sounds like um, we're already using Nutshell in this case, and maybe unsubscribes have been managed in a certain way. Um, regardless, I think you know we've made it super easy to manage unsubscribes. If you're currently using Nutshell or starting to use Nutshell, you can just go to your people list, find the people that maybe you've been managing, whether that's through a pipeline or a tag or something like that, and we just have a one-click unsubscribe to basically get those initial unsubscribes in there. Um, Nutshell is going to manage those going forward, but if you've been sending, you know. Through MailChimp, maybe you have a list of people in MailChimp that you're marked as like, I think they call it cleaned. You can also just import those people and we'll, as unsubscribed people, tons of ways to get that going. You're not gonna be sending to the wrong people there. Um, absolutely. Great yeah. to hear too that we're, we're dropping MailChimp. We got one. <laughs> one yeah, more, I should say. Plenty already. <laughs> Vicki, what, what we have been helping a lot of our customers with is, yeah, importing all of your unsubscribes from MailChimp. If you have a CSV file or can export that from your current marketing tool, get in touch with my team. Uh, we're, we're happy to help with that. But yeah, great, great questions. All right. Joaquin wants to know, how does the platform avoid emails sending up in recipient spam folders? Chris, I know you've been hard at work at this. Um, what do you have to say to Joaquin? Yeah, um, it's, a, it's a great question. It's something that's absolutely top of mind for us. Um, again, there's, you know, there, there's different ways that we're handling this and there's different things you can do in your own emails to make them more successful. Some of those are, again, not including huge images or, or not too many attachments. Um, Nutshell is aware that sometimes, you know, we're actually gonna work with you to set up some, some more technical like DKIM or DMARC settings. Um, and we're trying to build those into the product so that, you know, you're aware if you're sending to you know, from your domain to thousands of people that you have the right, essentially like the right stuff in your emails for those to, to land into inboxes. Um, super, super top of mind for us. Um, you know, of course we can't guarantee it, but we're building in a ton of things into the product for both deliverability education and, you know, ways to actually 
use your own good reputation to help those emails get there. Um, yeah, awesome. So, yeah. That's that's a yeah. Um, I've got another question coming up, kind of about security and um, all these things. I think our, our CEO calls this alphabet soup. But Jason wants to know about uh, depending on the email domain, if it's ours, do we need to do anything with DMARC, SPF, etc.? That's our alphabet soup here that we. <laughs> sure. We, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a complicated question to answer over over yeah. the the webinar chat. Um, it, short answer is probably yes, especially if you'd like to do that. Um, but you know, happy to work with you on that. Um, and, and we have you know customers already using those kind of things already. Yeah. So yeah. something we're definitely aware of. Certainly, yeah, uh, Jason. That could be a good thing to get in touch with my team about. Uh, Doug asks, is there an option to not include an unsubscribe link? We may use this uh, for internal purposes to students faculty and staff wouldn't want them to unsubscribe in case we're sending urgent info such as building closures, billing, et cetera. Um, I let Doug know in the chat, this is a use case that we hear about a lot. Chris, what would you recommend? Yeah, so in terms of marketing messages, you know, that is actually a law uh, that's required for those, you know, large outreach messages. Um, that being said, you know, that doesn't preclude sending those immediate one-off messages. You know, maybe it's a, a personal outreach for some very important yeah. thing. Um, you know, there's no, there's nothing that's actually going to stop that message from going if you have to send a one-off really important thing. Um, you know, along those same notes, there, there's a chance that marketing messages might not be the right thing. Nutshell has a ton of other emailing capabilities, more personalized email sequences that we've had for years um, that you can send, you know, to a smaller group of people. Uh, they're more, you know, plain text, sort of like emails that you might expect in your inbox, more personalized ones. Um, and those do not require an unsubscribe link that way. So yeah. um, ways around that for sure. And yeah. um, that's that's a, that's a short answer there. Yep. For sure. Yeah. I mean, we work with customers all the time who use both email marketing and personal emailing through Nutshell. So, you know, the yep. personal emailing tool we didn't even scratch the surface on today. That's a feature that has been with Nutshell for uh, many, many years. But um, I know a lot of our customers use that if they need to get individual messages through something that doesn't require an unsubscribe link because that's using your email email domain. Um, email marketing, I think, Chris, from my understanding, is that the, the rules are a little bit different. Yep, they're a little stricter there, for sure. Okay, got it. All right, um, let's see, more great questions. Um, let's see, Caitlin wants to know, sorry, did I miss it? When will drip campaigns be available? <laughs> <laughs> great question. Um, you know, don't have a exact date on the calendar, but absolutely sometime in the next couple months, you know, we're targeting, you know, sometime mid Q2 for that. Um, yeah. So really looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, understand there's a ton of value there. So Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's all the buzz around then, the water cooler, Caitlin. It's coming. <laughs> and I, I should add, too, that you know we, we are still in development of that and, and would love to hear sort of what you're expecting to, to see there. Um, you know, we, there's a ton of different use cases. We have a few of our own. And um, yeah. if you'd like to email you know, anyone at sales or, or success, or we actually have a beta at nutshell.com email address as well, um, you know, we're happy to, to get in contact with you and, and hear kind of what you're looking for there. That, that'd be helpful to us too. So yeah, that's an awesome offer. You said that was beta at nutshell.com. Yep. Yep. Awesome. -E TA at nutshell.com. Great. Yeah. Caitlin, if you want to shoot us a quick note, if you have time, we'd love to hear from you and what your you know, organization is aiming to solve with uh, drip sequences. If you have some time to shoot us a message, we'd love to hear from you. One of the many benefits of working with a, a team like ours, uh, we, we aim to please. Uh, Caitlin did have one more question. Uh, she said, when you're sending emails, can you send a single email to multiple audiences? And a follow-up question, if so, does Nutshell identify duplicates to ensure single contacts who may be in multiple audiences so they don't receive the email more than once? That's a great question. And currently the answer is no, actually. And we've heard this use case from a couple people and I imagine we'll support this uh, sometime soon. But right now, you know, if you have the same email address twice in a single audience, we're not gonna double send that. But if it's across multiple audiences, the, the answer is no. Um, you know, we're bringing a couple more features to help solve this problem. Um, I hate to say no on a, on a live webcast, but at this point, um, you know, that's not something that we support in terms of deduping across different audiences. There, there's ways around that too, um, but, but currently that use case uh, would not, would, would actually send it twice, unfortunately. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, this is an evolving product. Um, this right. is just the beginning of Nutshell Marketing and uh, feedback from from this group and our customers is is so key to making sure that it's going to solve solve your problem. So thank you for thank you for being vocal. All right, Charmaine asks, can we activate the marketing feature for certain users only? It's a great question. Uh, yes. So um, 
you know, if you're an admin, assuming you're an admin in a nutshell, um, every single user that's not an admin, there's a, just a quick checkbox basically for can this user access nutshell marketing or not. Um, and they'll see the little icon in the sidebar, but it won't really do anything other than let them know they need access. So um, absolutely, you can limit that at a per user level for sure. So sorry, Chris. Keep um, no keep up the great work. I just lost your audio for a second. Technology. All right, we've got yeah. another great question. Uh, Caitlin, you're so awesome. Thank you so much. Um, she said, also, can you talk more about the difference between drip campaigns and newsletters? She's asking, do newsletters have basic automation functionality? And I have some context from her after this, Chris, but maybe you can just field that first part of the question. Yeah, essentially, newsletters have have no automation right now. So, you know, the advantage of a newsletter is being able to compare their success against one another. It's essentially just, you know, we'll help you bucket that kind of content altogether. Whereas, um, you know, you're still going to have to schedule those ahead of time, pick your audience. And, and we do that on purpose. You know, you never know exactly when you're going to want to send your next edition when that's ready to go. Um, drip sequences, on the other hand, are, you know, fully automated in terms of, or at least they can be. Um, and are, are kind of sending for drip sequences, it really matters when they start sending, you know, for our yeah. trial example, right when someone signs up, they need right. to get an email 15 minutes later welcoming them. Um, so that's, that's the benefit there. For sure. Yeah, it sounds like Caitlin um, immediately canceled active campaign once we launched the marketing tool. Um, happy to have you. They really need to be able to create simple automations in the short term. So that makes sense. Totally understand. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got one more question. Uh, you guys, we've got Chris for just a few more minutes. So if you do have more questions or comments that you know you want to communicate to my team and I, now is your chance. Please use the chat. Um, I'm going to take this last question for now from Alex. It says, apologies if this was covered earlier in the demo. That's OK. You're all busy. Uh, does this marketing solution allow us to upload our own CSV or similar, similarly formatted lists? Um, maybe you can start there, Chris. Absolutely, yeah. So you know. We're building this on top of our, our nutshell sales, our, our CRM tool that's been around for 10 plus years. And, and absolutely, you know, we have a, an importer that'll work great. Um, CSV or, you know, if you're coming from Salesforce, we have a one click importer, all, all that kind of stuff. So you can get your data in very easily. Awesome. OK, and it looks like I missed a question from Dara. Let me go back a little bit here and just make sure that I'm uh, getting to all of our questions. Dara, Dara. Oh, she wants to know about lead collection from LinkedIn. Uh, I hear about this a lot too. Chris, what, what would you recommend? I might kick this one back over to you. If yeah, you know okay. I'm not actually <laughs> sure. Yeah. For sure, Dara. So um, the um, LinkedIn is pretty tight with its own network of tools. So I find a really hard time like getting them to play nicely with others, to put it nicely. And it's a great tool. I use LinkedIn myself to do research about clients, but it is definitely hard to extract that information because they want your money. <laughs> they want you to pay for that. So um, what I usually recommend, you can do uh, data backups from LinkedIn. Um, it's a little bit of a jog to get there, but you can Google the instructions online. That's usually what I have my customers do is just start with that data. They export it from LinkedIn, import it into Nutshell, and then you can do anything you need to with it. Uh, so it is a manual process right now. I, I'm hopeful that that changes in the future. Um, but for, for now, that's kind of the conversation that we're having with our with our boots on the ground uh, uh, to get data in from, in from LinkedIn. Yep, really good stuff. Cool, everybody. Um, hopefully that's helpful. I'm just gonna check for one more scan of the chat. You guys have been amazing. Chris, you were wonderful. Um, anything else you want the audience to know about Nutshell Marketing or you know anything that you really love about the tool that we didn't get to uh, cover yet today? Oh boy, putting me on the spot. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's it's there now, and and I, I really do like you know apart from the number of messages, you know, everything's available for free right off the bat. So. Yeah. You know, really get in there. Um, it's built on top of our CRM, which, you know, my favorite thing about Nutshell is all those filtering tools I probably spent too long talking about. But that's really going to help, uh, you know, target the right people, the right audiences. Um, I'm super proud of everything our team's done over the past, you know, nine, 10 months, however long yeah. it's been since we started this thing. And, uh, you know, there's a ton more to go, but uh, really, really excited. Uh, yeah, thank you so much to you and thank your team you. for all of the hard work yeah. that you've invested. Um, that is all the time we have today. Thank you so much, Chris, again, for taking us through the product. And for those of you watching, it's been amazing to get to know you. Uh, we really encourage you to test out Nutshell's all-in-one sales and marketing platform for yourself. If you're not already in a trial, you can go to nutshell.com slash sign up. 
and you can get a free 14-day trial of our software with no credit card required. So as soon as you start your trial, you can start building and testing marketing emails completely free of charge, and you'll also have access to our world-famous support team. Uh, they can answer any of your qu technical questions by phone, email, or chat. Uh, if you do have any other questions about Nutshell Marketing that we didn't get to today, please send an email to growth at nutshell.com, and a member of our team will get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and happy nutshelling.